Hey everyone, my name is Randy Lee and I'm an environmental engineer. Today we're going to be discussing why not many people care about the environment. I know it's a pretty depressing topic to talk about, but it's a problem that we have to address in order to get it out there and raise awareness. So it's no secret that climate change is a pressing issue that affects all of us, but despite the dire warnings from scientists, many people remain unconcerned about the state of our planet. And in this video, we'll explore some of the reasons why this is the case. So the first reason is that there's a lack of education. Many people simply just don't understand the science behind climate change or the impact that humans are having on the planet. This is especially true in certain parts of the world where environment education is not the priority. Without a basic understanding of issues at hand, it's difficult for people to see why they care about the environment. For example, in developing countries where access to education is limited, people may not have the opportunity to learn about the environment and its importance. Even in developed countries, environmental education is just not a priority in schools. This means that people grow up without a basic understanding of climate change, pollution, or other environmental issues. Furthermore, some people may have been taught incorrect information about the environment, leading them to believe that it's not really an important issue. For example, certain political groups may spread misinformation about climate change, arguing that it's not caused by human activity or that it's not a serious threat. This can lead to some confusion or mistrust, making it harder for people to understand the importance of caring about the environment. Another reason why people may not care about the environment is due to short-term thinking. We live in a society that prioritizes instant gratification and immediate results. Climate change, on the other hand, is a slow-moving problem that may not have an immediate problem on people's lives. It's easy for people to put off thinking about the environment until it becomes a problem. For example, people may not be motivated to reduce their carbon footprint because the effects of climate change are not affecting them directly. It may be easy to ignore the problem until it becomes a media threat, but at that point, it might be too late to take action. Also, short-term thinking may be influenced by economic factors. Some businesses may prioritize short-term profits over long-term sustainability. This could lead to environmental damages as companies focus on maximizing profits rather than minimizing their impacts on the environment. The third on the list is a lack of personal connection to the environment. Many people may live in urban areas where they have limited exposure to nature. Without regular connection to the natural world, it's easy for people to become disconnected from the environment and they see it as something separate from their daily lives. So for example, people who live in cities may not have access to green spaces or parks. This means that they may not have the opportunity to experience nature on a regular basis, leading them to feel disconnected to the environment. In addition, most people spend most of their time indoors, further limiting their exposure to the natural world. Fourth on the list is political and economic interests. Many corporations and governments have a vested interest in continuing to exploit natural resources, even if it's detrimental to the environment. In these cases, the message that caring for the environment is often drowned out by the voices of those who stand to benefit from this destruction. A big example is the fossil fuel industry. The fossil fuel industry has a vested interest in continuing to extract and burn fossil fuels, despite the fact that it's a major contributor to climate change. Similarly, some politicians may prioritize the interests of their donors or constituents over the well-being of the environment. This can make it extremely difficult to individuals to feel like they can make a difference when powerful corporations and politicians are actively working against environmental protection. It can also make it harder for people to trust information that they're receiving about the environment as it may be influenced by economics or politicians. And finally on the list are psychological factors. For example, people might be overwhelmed by the scale of the problem and feel like their individual actions may not make a difference. This can lead to a sense of helplessness and apathy. Additionally, people may have a tendency to prioritize their own immediate needs and desires over long-term sustainability. This is known as present bias, and it can make it difficult for people to prioritize environmental concerns over their short-term wants and needs. There could also be a cultural aspect to this. In some cultures, there may be a focus on individualism and personal success over community or environmental concerns. So this can make it difficult for people to prioritize the environment as it is seen as something that is less important than personal achievement. So in conclusion, why don't people care about the environment? As we've explored in this video, there are a number of factors that can contribute to this issue. From a lack of education to short-term thinking, political and economic interests, and psychological factors, it's clear that it's not really one issue. It's more of a complex issue that requires a lot of multifaceted solutions. However, 
It is important to remember that individuals can still make a difference, even in the face of these challenges. By educating yourself and others about the importance of caring for the environment, prioritizing long-term sustainability over short-term gains, and holding corporations and politicians accountable, we can work towards a more sustainable future for ourselves and for future generations. Thank you for watching the video. We hope that this video has provided some insight into why many people may not care about the environment. Let me know what you're doing for the environment, if anything, or let me know if you don't care as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts too on this issue. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this. But that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.